Good afternoon, church family. Today is Monday, May 24th. I'm glad to be back with you. Thank you so much for letting Myra and me go to the beach last week. We had such a great time. The weather was perfect. Uh, it was good for my soul just to sit out and look at God's creation and worship our Creator through it. And, uh, but I'm grateful to be back. And so thank you for the allowance to go, but thank you for the welcome to return. We are glad to be here. I just have a few things I'd like to give to you this week's update, uh, remind you of some events, maybe catch you up to speed on some things that we're thinking, and, uh, and just, just tell you that I love you. So all those things, here we go. First, yesterday was a great day in worship. We had about 193, um, which was fantastic. We are so grateful for all that have come back. We have a few that are wanting to unite with our church, and so... I have some interviews to conduct and, and tell them who we are and how they can become a part of us, but the Lord is just doing a, a unique work among us, and I'm grateful for it. So uh, we had a great day, 126 or so in Sunday school, and then uh, we had another 37 connect with us through our live stream. So all of those ways, people connecting to us. If you're connecting to us with our live stream, I want you to know that you are still welcome to do it. We're going to continue offering that option uh, even after things come back to full swing with our uh, physical on, uh, on-campus worship. But if you're still connecting with us online, we invite you to continue to do that. So thank you for your participation. Thank you for your love for us. Um, and uh, just keep it up. We're, we're glad to offer these things. Um, I'm looking forward in the future to turning this update into a, a weekly devotional as well. And so perhaps starting next week when, uh, when we get together, I will give you uh, two or three or four minutes of devotion, and then after that, we'll go run through quickly some of our events that are happening. Uh, so just this week, Thursday at 10.30, uh, we are starting back our Old Testament survey. We'll begin with the life of Isaac, and uh, we're picking up in, uh, in the book of Genesis and so I invite you to be a part of that. And then starting next Tuesday, you'll be able to tune in online for that same uh, Old Testament survey course. And then um, Man Church, Thursday evening at 6.30, we invite you to be a part of that. Uh, that, that should be a good time together. Uh, this will be our second time back for that. Man food, man singing, man church, come on and be a part. And then uh, Friday the 4th of June is our missions golf tournament. Uh, see Robin Swearingen to sign up for that. Uh, we invite you to come out and be a part. Whether you have your own team or whether you just want to come out as an individual and we put you with one of our uh, teams, uh, sign up for that. We'd love to have you. All the proceeds for that go toward our missions uh, endeavors here at First Baptist Church. And then finally, our Hope Ladies uh, movie night on the Saturday, the 5th of June. Uh, the doors will open at 6.30. The movie will actually start at 7. Uh, please come and be a part of that. It'll be a great time together. And then finally, let me just uh, let me get you up to speed with some of our things that are happening. If you have kept up, you'll know that uh, about 10 days ago, uh, all of the mask restrictions were lifted for North Carolina. And so our church is wanting to follow suit. In fact, if you were here yesterday with us, you know, notice that I didn't wear a mask all day. Um, but really, it's not about what the government says um, in this case. It's really about loving your neighbor. Uh, in fact, through all of this, starting a year ago, uh, we have simply tried to make decisions how to best love our neighbors. Uh, many of our neighbors, in fact, many of those who are at risk in our church, almost all of us have received the vaccines. Now, our hope isn't in a vaccine. Ultimately, our hope is in the Lord. Uh, but taking precautions, whether for our own sake, for our family's sake, or for our neighbor's sake, uh, many of us have received the vaccine. And so um, we are progressing with that thought in mind. Now, I say this to say that you're going to see quite a few people in our church family stop wearing masks here at our church. But if you would feel comfortable, if, you, uh, if it would make you feel better about yourself to continue to wear a mask, we invite you to do so. Uh, our whole goal is to love God 
and to love others. The, the great commandment, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And so we really want to love our neighbors as ourselves. And just like when there was great risk for COVID, we wore masks for our neighbors. Now there's um, not as much risk. And so for our neighbors and for others, many of us are ceasing to wear the masks, ceasing to worry as much about social distancing. But I want you to know that if you still would feel comfortable wearing a mask, if you still feel comfortable social distancing, please do that. Please come and be a part of us and yet still maintain your six feet of space, still maintain your mask wearing, all of those things. We want you to feel comfortable. And I say all of this because we love you. We want you to know that it's our greatest joy to extend love to our neighbors. In fact, to love them as we love ourselves. And so we're going to continue to open up, continue to do things that we used to do, continue to reconnect with eating and reconnect with some of our closer, uh, closer acts of love. But I want you to know that you're still welcome here, even if that makes you uncomfortable. We will keep space from you if you just simply will say, that's what I wish. And by the way, the greatest way to say that's what you wish is to continue to wear a mask. If you continue to wear a mask, I'll continue to keep my distance from you just because I love you. But all of this to say that our church is heading forward. We are moving in a direction. The blue tape is up out of the church sanctuary. We are heading back to doing things as usual. In the next few weeks, you'll see us uh, collecting our offering the way that we used to. In the next few months, you'll see the, the choir back. You'll see the bulletins being handed out. Um, you'll see an altar call extended. All of those things as we get back to the routine of loving Jesus and loving others. So thank you for your patience over this last year. Um, please continue to pray for us. As difficult as it was to go into this situation, it still remains difficult making decisions coming out of this situation. But we are headed in that direction. So church family, I love you. Community, I love you. I thank you for the opportunity for us to be a church here in the middle of Concord and Cabarrus County. We really want to love our community. And we want to do it not just in word, but especially in deed. So we will continue to work to love this community and to love the world, even as Jesus loves the world. So God bless you. Have a great week. I'll see you soon.